Hey, what's up you guys? It's been a little time uh, since my previous vlog. I haven't worked on very much. Um, there are more contents coming, but tonight I have to work on my wife's car. I have a GLE 350 here, Mercedes, and believe it or not, the battery's going out. So what I have to do tonight to do the battery, in most cars, you would think the battery is in the front where the engine bay is, in the front of the engine. But in the GLE 350, through multiple iterations, it's actually, if you come with me, it's actually gonna be underneath this seat right here. There's gonna be four torque screws here. One here, two here, and then of course the rear. But then afterwards, I kind of have to rip this cave, this carpet up. So stay tuned. Okay, so before I, I went on ahead, um, unscrewed the four torques, then I popped this plastic piece off to get to the, at least the negative terminal to disconnect the battery. Because as we're gonna disassemble the front, disconnect the um the seat modules in the front we want to make sure we disconnect the battery so what i did was at first i moved the seat back to, to take out the first the two bolts in the front to so move the seat up to get to the bolts in the back and these are e12 torque screws okay uh that's these guys e12 okay so just to let you know what's going on there are all these modules underneath of this cover which you probably seen there's one, two, three, four, and then there's two plugs up top. We're gonna unhook those. Okay, so I carefully removed these plugs. Um, all of these here have these easy switches, which you push the button here and pull these back and then you can kind of push yourself out. This one has a little tab on top. This one's a little weird. There's two tabs on the side. There's nothing on top. So you just have to carefully use a, you know, something small to push both sides in and then it will come out very easily. So all together, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these needs to unplug. And here's this one, and then here's this cord here. Um, and another good thing is, they're also already color coordinated. If you can see the top here, like purple's here, um, kind of red here, uh, so forth, and the blue is here. So you can kind of guide back to it. But right now, um, the battery's underneath it here. My understanding is that um, a lot of people remove these trims all the way through. I'm gonna see if I can take a shortcut and maybe, maybe I can get it, at, um, you know, because I do have a lot of these types of tools to help me guide everything back in. Uh, I guess installing a lot of stereo equipment does help me with this work here, so. Okay, so you can see after I peel this carpet back, and I did have to remove this trim. It's very easy. We literally just kind of gently pull on it, it'll come out. Um, then there's this foam, this foam here, I start wedging out. This does wedge a little bit underneath here, just maybe a little bit, but as you can see, you just have to gently kind of work it and pull it out. And then this foam comes out. So this is what everyone talks about. This particular tray here, this tray here, um, is held in by some of these plastic screws. And I think this is where I, ha I don't have a choice, but to remove the, um, we remove the um, this side panel to get to this tray, but I will see because um, I know I can see two of these plastic screws um, kind of nut here already. Um, so okay, so getting this tray out without pulling all the pieces out was a little bit tough, but you can kind of gently work it through and you can work this out. And I didn't have to pull all those pieces out. But what I did was um, on the umbilical, one of the umbilical cords was here. I kind of wigged it and pulled it back here and continue to disconnect some of these, these types of quick connectors out. So now it looks pretty easy. All we gotta do now is disconnect this guy. Uh, there should be an exhaust hose over here. Don't forget that because you don't want the gas, you know, to kind of leak back into the car. Um, and then that should be pretty much it from what I understand. So keep me posted. Okay. So I pulled both of the batteries out. This is the OEM. This is the Mercedes one. And this is the one I got from um, AutoZone today. Um, turn around here. 12 volt, 95 amp hour, um, 850. This is a 850. Uh, it is AM, AGM. 
and then it's a 80 instead of 95 amp hour so it's a little bit smaller um, but this is the one that they looked up the manual and say this was the um, direct replacement and then um, there are little holes on the side which on the OEM does have it and they plug the side up so I'm gonna do the same thing positive positive negative negative so it's time to put this guy in there okay by the way this bolt right here is a 13 and the rest of these are actually just um i believe there are just 11s i mean 10s these are 10s 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 and even the plastic ones are 10s so this is the only one that's a 13. okay so everything's back together and torqued and everything um, i don't actually have the torque specs for these guys but what i did was pretty tight and then another quarter um well more like an eighth to a quarter make sure we don't strip these guys because you know they could be could be big trouble we strip these but pretty much is reverse order so i started the pro the job around i would say around um 7 30 and now it's 9 30. so it was a good two hours because i took my time and uh these seats as usual is always very heavy but uh you just gotta take your time with it and then put everything back the other I didn't have to take this middle piece out. I was able to squeeze everything through. But um, I mean, it's, it's, you know, Mercedes, they put a battery underneath the seat. What a pain in the butt that is. Um, so, so with all of it, um, the project wasn't that hard, but it just pretty time consuming, I would say. It took a good two hours to do it. Um, not a lot of, you didn't need a lot of tools. You really needed a uh, 11, a 13, I mean, a 10, a 11, uh, a 10 and a 13 and then an e12 torque screw uh, and then you know a screwdriver and a, and a plastic vinyl thing to, to trim that's about it uh but it did take some time but um but just make sure you plug all the hoses back in for the breather and all that because the batteries inside the cabinet god knows it's toxic air right so you gotta do all that good stuff other than that it's pretty easy um there'll be more content just stay tuned um and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe on the bottom thank you very much and I hope everyone's uh, having a having a great summer. Um, take care.